A new vehicle-mounted automated feed bunk scanner is now available for adoption by the Australian feedlot industry following its commercial launch at Beefex in October. Meat and Livestock Australia, in consultation with the Australian Lot Feeders Association, funded the development and validation of this world-first technology by Australian automation and robotics solutions company, Manabotics. Manabotics Managing Director, Dr Stuart McCarthy, presented the results of in-field testing of the scanner to lot feeders at Beefex. The experimental campaign that we undertook uh, was hosted by three donor sites, two by Morton Co, one by Tees Australia, um, and at each site we uh, undertook 100 observations at each feedlot. And so that basically meant uh, at the 6am bunk call uh, we would predict how much feed remained with the prototype system, the human uh, prediction was made uh, under normal operating conditions as well, we would record that data and then we would recover the feed that was remaining uh, from that pen bunk. Uh, and that would usually be with buckets and then we'd vacuum out the, the remnant material, collect it, weigh it back, um, record that result as, as the observation, what was really there, and then we return the feed to the, to the pen or to the pen bunk. And uh, that process was repeated a hundred times uh, at each site. Uh, and then there were, again, there were three sites. The extensive in-feed lot testing demonstrated it's more accurate and precise in predicting feed remaining in bunks than human callers, offering significant productivity and profitability benefits to the industry. The prototype system uh, was on average within 10 kilos uh, of the, the actual feed remaining and that was for, uh, for from slick bunks all the way up to about 500 kilo bunks. Uh, in the same uh, zero to 500 range, the humans uh, were normally within about the 45 kilo um, in terms of the, their absolute error. Um, we also found that our system, or the prototype system, was uh, very uh, precise, but very repeatable results, um, and the humans were less, um, less precise, and so the other only, moderate, only had moderate levels of precision. My colleague uh, Dan McLeod and uh, I feel a, a great uh, level of satisfaction and pleasure in being able to add uh, what could be or what ought to be a tremendous amount of value to the red meat industry. Uh, we're very pleased to be able to repay the, I guess, the investment and the, the punt that uh, MLA and Alpha have uh, taken on us. Um, it was a very tricky uh, problem which uh, was posed to us and it needed some out of the box thinking and I, I think we provided a pretty out of the box solution. Feedlots interested in adopting the bunk scanner can contact Manabotics for further information.